So in this video, let's go through the process that I went to create the animated short film, The Lich. If you haven't seen it, it's a minute and a half. Go have a look, link in the description. Come back. So I previously created this animated short film and looked at doing it all in Eevee. However, I kind of wanted to expand my horizon, so I went with the story I already knew. So I used the Perception Neuron V3 to capture my body motion. Absolutely brilliant suit, love it to bits. I think one of the best investments that I've ever made. And from here, I've taken this captured data and brought it into iClone. But first we created our character. And so this was the character that I created in Character Creator 3. I can't wait for Character Creator 4. Very nice, very quick, very simply. I added a little bit of a defect here. Didn't bother updating it because it wasn't going to be very noticeable. But I'm really happy with how this character came out. Once I grabbed this character, I brought it over into iClone. And then connecting this to the Perception Neuron V3, I was able to attach the body motion. Now with the facial motion capture, I used a homemade facial rig camera headset. So this is the motion capture helmet that I had. Um, I actually got a GoPro 5 Hero on the front there, nice and light, um, about five times lighter than the iPhone 12. And funny enough, if you use the iPhone 12, you can actually capture footage from a computer screen, so that's what I've done. Here I had a lesson learned to turn off the top light because there's a few moments where I actually lose tracking. A little bit weird. So with this character and also my secondary character, I was going to use Unreal Engine 5 to render this whole scene out. However, the bridge between iClone and Unreal Engine 5 hasn't been set up, so we went to Omniverse. However, I still did use Unreal Engine 5 to build my environment. And we did all that on live stream on a Sunday night. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you know when I go live and we can do these things together. And we're able to produce some really good results. Really happy with how this looked, even how the door was. We did use a little bit of substance painter to create the door. Um, but other than that, overall, Quixel looked amazing. And the brilliant thing is we can actually export this whole scene from Unreal Engine over into Omniverse and you can see we've just got some wonderful lighting. Now this is obviously the previs, not the full render. And we've brought in our characters and it's just turned out amazing. Now I've got quite a few lessons learned though. One of them was is the sampling rate was a little bit too low. I had it at 16 um, and I had an issue with this character's textures just kind of along the neckline here. But overall, I'm happy with how the short film turned out. I really do look forward to working on the next one. If you do want to keep up to date, once again, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you like this breakdown and you want me to do future ones. And I look forward to hearing from you.